Hi there. So recently I've been thinking a lot about evolution and a lot about science and you know, medicine and how that relates to our evolution. And I suppose the question that keeps coming back to me is, you know, is medicine especially beneficial to, to us as a species in the long term or is it you know detrimental to us to you know is it detrimental to our human evolution because you know there's two ways of looking at it you know we, we can look at people who have illnesses and diseases being cured by medicine and by science but in the long term surely that doesn't really get rid of the problem you know surely the problem of you know the faulty genes or um you know faulty genetics or whatever or the faulty biology rather, is still gonna gonna be there, you know, and it's surely it's only evolution which would truly erase those, you know, those problems from us. You know, surely that's what has been happening to us as a species for the millions of years. And if we, you know, if we healed everybody of every single illness that they ever have, then those illnesses are never gonna go away. You know, they're always gonna they're always going to be there. They're always going to crop up from time to time, even if they, you know, lay dormant for for a while. It's always going to be in our genes, and you know, the potential is always going to be there for them to crop up again in the future. And so, and then if we look at the other side of it, if we don't have any medicine, if we just let ill people get ill, you know, and let it either kill them or, you know, let their bodies fight it off, then eventually all the um, the vast majority of the illnesses that we have now will no longer exist. You know? And granted, there will always be some other illness that will crop up, but that's always going to be the case. You know, if we if we stopped um, treating people with cancer, for example, then surely eventually evolution will you know, for, for lack of a better word, erase all the people from the gene pool who have the potential to get cancer, or the faulty gene, or the not faulty genes, but all the the genes which would make cancer manifest. Surely they would, you know, disappear, and therefore the chances of uh, chances of future generations getting cancer would be massively reduced. You know, and the same goes for all other diseases. If we just let kind of nature take its course, then surely nature would sort itself out. It would separate the weak from the strong and the healthy from the, you know, the weak. And so, you know, I've been trying to think whether, you know, what is the best way to go about it. And the only the only way that I can, or the only thing possibility, the only possibility that I can see us as a species working towards is complete mastery over, you know over everything about our biology, you know, complete understanding of every single potential genetic defect, you know, the ability to cure absolutely any disease. You know. But, you know, will we ever reach that stage? Is it possible that we will eventually be able to cure people of everything, you know, even perhaps old age? You know, that's a bit of a sort of scary thought. But, um, you know, so is it really possible to do that? I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't see it happening. I mean, certainly not in my lifetime, obviously. But I mean, surely one day you'd think that it would. So, is medicine a short-term solution to a long-term problem? You know, or should we just let nature take its course? I mean, I'm. I'm sort of in two minds about this, but I mean, obviously, I wouldn't refuse medical treatment because you know I'm only thinking short term because I'm only here for you know, what 80 years if I'm lucky, or something like that. So you know, and perhaps that's just the mentality that we have. You know, we're always thinking short term. We never, you know, we're, we're never thinking too far ahead in the future. And the same goes with politics and the economy and you know, even our individual lives, you know, we're always only thinking about 
things that are going to happen soon rather than what's going to happen in the future, or rather the consequences of our actions. We very rarely think about the long-term effect of what we are doing now. So, yeah, so that's just a thought of mine.